Have the Chicago Cubs and Jed Hoyer not learned that you don't trade with the White Sox at the deadline? The Cubs are trading reliever Ryan Tapera to the Chicago White Sox. Tapera has been very good this year. Actually, like super, super good. Very a nice pickup for the White Sox. I don't think he's quite as good as his numbers say. Saying that, the Cubs got literally nothing in return, so I just still think the White Sox got the better end of the deal. Bailey Horn is in single A and has a 5.63 ERA. He was a fifth round draft pick in the 2020 draft, so maybe he'll turn into something. I'm not saying I expected to get much for Tapera, but it's just like giving Tapera to the White Sox to help them contend doesn't sit well with me. I don't know, maybe Bailey Horn will turn into the next great reliever, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Moving on to the NBA draft. It's midday right now. The NBA draft is still four or five hours away. But the Detroit Pistons have landed on a decision to select Oklahoma State's Kate Cunningham with the number one overall pick, according to Woj. I'm not a huge fan of leaks, but this one just was something I feel like we all knew was coming. Kate's been the consensus number one overall pick since the beginning of this past year's college basketball season. I will say I'm high on Kate Cunningham, but I don't think he's quite as good as he's made out to by the media. As somebody that watched a lot of Big 12 basketball, his ceiling is ridiculous. He's good at everything. But there was plenty of halves in games where he just kind of disappeared. Of course, he did have some crazy games as well as some, as some crazy second halves and did show up at some of the biggest times. I just think the media's maybe overhyped him just a tiny bit. All right, switching gears, but staying in the sports world, the Toronto Blue Jays have acquired Brad Hand from the Washington Nationals. The Blue Jays, of course, lost Kirby Yates to Tommy John to start the season and have been in dire need of a closer. I think they've had a lot of bullpen issues, to be fair. They're kind of dealing with that whole AL East, which is just a nightmare. I'm so grateful to not have anything to do with that division. Hand hasn't been great this year. He's 5-5 five five with a 359 ERA and has 21 saves, but he is, of course, a three-time All-Star. In return, the Nationals got minor league catcher Riley Adams, who is apparently the best power hitter in Toronto's system, so maybe he'll turn into something. I'm sure this isn't the only move we'll see the Nationals make as sellers with the trade deadline just over 24 hours away but yeah guys just a little update for you all on what's going on on this thursday afternoon please make sure you guys do drop a like make sure you guys do drop a subscription let me know what you guys think kate cunningham number one overall of course the draft is tonight stay tuned for that and then we have brad hand going to the toronto blue jays